Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back. I'm one of your co-host, Rico Borrego. I am your other co-host, Tony Borrego. And this is the podcast known as Relatively Sound, the podcast that connects the dots. Today, Tony and I are back with another game. This time, we are taking inspiration from the New York Times and their game, Connections. Now, Connections, I'm sure, is not an original idea from the New York Times. Like most of their games, it's just a variation of a game that was created before by like a game show or some board game or or whatever. But um, their game connections, here are the rules. You get a grid of 16 words or phrases, and four of them are, are belong in, in the, a certain group. And there's, you know, four groups, each with four of the words. And, you know, you might have a category that is, um, you know, shades of blue and, you know, you'll have the word baby on there. You'll have Royal, you'll have sky and you have to decide what the meanings of the words on the grid, you know, what are their meanings and then group them together. And a lot of the times they will pick words that could also belong in other groups to trip you up. And um, we decided to be a perfect time to play this game. Now that we're doing uh, video versions of the podcast, this is a great one where we can share our screen. And, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can watch and play along. Um, so Tony and I, what we did is we found a website where you can do your custom connections. And we made our own music ones where we basically have our grid filled with either songs or albums or, or band names. And we're going to give each other two that we created. And we're going to see who can do them in the, you know, the fewest amount of guesses. Um, we'll do some, we'll, we'll do some like scoring here where if you can get the category, you get a point. And then if you can correctly name the category before you submit it and before it reveals the name of the category, You'll get an additional point. Um, if one of us gets stumped, we we can ask the other one for hints. You know, we're it's it's just a game for fun. We're not like really going to keep score or track. Um, I guess just bragging rights. So Tony, uh, you ready for this? You feeling confident? You don't play I'm the connections every day. All. No, I do. I, the... I will say, in, in preparation for this, guys, Rico has been sending me some that he's made, and they have all gone horribly wrong. Um, it's humbling every time, but I'm going to take this opportunity to learn from the master himself. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't say I'm like a pro at them, but I have I play a lot of the New York Times games daily. I do Wordle. I do Connections. I do their mini crossword, which for some reason I like better than doing a full, you know, long ass crossword. And they have a new game called Strands that I've been doing, too. Um, so, yeah, I do play it every day, but... I, there are days where I only get two two of the categories, or I only get one, or I get none, you know? So some days are harder than others. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll go first. So Show us I'm, how it's done. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to share my screen. That way our... You know, people watching this on YouTube will see it. And I, I'll also... You know, we'll explain our thought press process out loud and we'll we'll say each of the words in the grid. That way people listening can kind of try to follow along. So and ho hopefully I, I made this properly. Hopefully it's not too many discrepancies here. We'll see here. OK, so and we can if um because like for these songs, if it's a song title, that's like a song that, you know, there's multiple bands that have a song with that title. We can clarify. You, we can ask the other person what, you know, what sp sp specific song. So, okay. This first grid here um, that Tony's made, we have Toxicity by System of a Down. She's my new song, Trust Mountains, um, Butcher's Tale from The Zombies, Life Wasted, Pearl Jam, Excitable Boy, Warren Zevon, Getaway, I'm assuming is the Pearl Jam song. Yes. Correct? Okay. Tom Ford and Cation, Red Chili Peppers, Allentown, Billy Joel, Stranger Billy Joel, The Getaway, 
the getaway. This is a great start. I don't know what that song is. The Chili Peppers. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The getaway, yes, yes. The, the title track. Okay, okay. Apple Bite, Soundgarden. We have Odd Soul, Mute Math. I'm Bugged Up My Old Man from the Beach Boys. Long Way Home, Bare Naked Ladies. I didn't even know they had a song called that. Okay, oh, oh, uh, um, STP. Okay, you're right. Because then there's also, Long Way Home is also, Take the Long Way is the Pearl Jam song. Never mind. Okay. Soldier Side, um, also uh, System of a Down, and then Born Under Punches, Talking Heads. Okay. So, I'm already seeing a couple themes. One being, we have opening tracks. Life Wasted is the first song off of Pearl Jam, self-titled. Allentown is the opening song off of Billy Joel's um, Nylon Curtain. Born on Punches, first song off of Talking Heads' Remain in Light. Soldier Side is the first song off of one of those double albums by um, by System of a Down. Odd Soul is the uh, opening song for Odd Soul. And I don't see any other openers. So now I used to always think Californication was the opener to Californication, but it's not. I'm pretty sure it's around the world. So, I mean, I could play it safe and try to come up with the other three categories to make sure that on this first guess, I'm already not, you know, messing up. But I'm I'm so confident that that's got to be a category. So I'm going to lock in Life Wasted, Soldier Side, Odd Soul, and, and um, Born... Oh, well, no, there is four. <laughs> or there's five. There's five. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, so I I do need to... Um, okay, yeah. So I need to come back to that because I need to be able to eliminate one of those. Okay. I I think I have an I think I have the other one. I have the I have one of them. Okay. Butcher's Tale was my least favorite song off of um the zombies album that we did on the podcast. Apple Bite was my least favorite on Down on the Upside that we did on the podcast. I'm Bugged to My Old Man was my least favorite off of uh the Beach Boys album we did on the podcast. And then Long Way Home was my least favorite from um the STP album we covered on the podcast. So I'm going to, I'm going to lock that in. I am. I mean, cause none of these other, I mean, like we, yeah, we talked, I mean, we did odd soul on the podcast and we, we've talked about like Billy Joel, but yeah, I'm gonna lock that in. So the cat, so I think the category for this is going to be my least favorite songs that we've covered on the album for albums, the albums you've given me specifically. So lock that in. There we go. Rico's least favorite songs from album for albums. Nice, All nice. Right. I, I was All really right. excited for you to uncover that one. I, I almost um did a category where it was the opposite. I was gonna like do either my favorites or your favorites from albums we did, but I don't know if you like a lot of the time I don't think you had a specific favorite. Like I know for some of them, like uh Candy's Room was your favorite from like um Darkness on the Edge of Town, but um I, I was gonna have a hard time. And then I didn't know if you were gonna remember my favorites from the albums. So Right, right. And I was like, I could like go back and listen to the episodes and actually be accurate, but I'm like, you know what? I think I can pick your four yeah. least favorites, you know. Yeah. Or at least, yeah, at least those are like the I mean, like I I think Butcher's Tale and I'm Bugging My Own Man, I think are clearly my least favorites. And Long Way. I, long Way, yeah, because I think even when I went because I, I I recently listened to that album again while I was reading um the Scott Wheelan um autobiography that I got from the library. And yeah, probably still is my least favorite. It's just the one that sticks with me the least. Is, is it um, toss it between that and Dumb Love for you? Does it get bookended? Yeah, a little bit. Other no, I think I think Dumb Love is better because it's just a little bit more like I don't know, it's a little faster, more a beat. I say it's a toss between that and Hollywood Bitch. Really? So okay, so uh, Regeneration's not at the bottom for you. It, it it's grown on me a little bit. There's parts of it I like and there's parts of it I don't like. And that's I'll, kind of I'll the same. That. And that's kind of the same with Coma too. I like parts of it and I don't like parts of it. Yeah, see, Coma's like a, a go-to banger. Definitely one of their Ooh. underrated rockers. And then um yeah, Apple Bite, I don't I don't think another song will like I don't I don't think it'll grow any more for me. So okay, that was a good one. Damn. Um going back to the other songs, I just realized Getaway is also an album opener. So 
There's I did six notice album, you missed that. Yeah, there's six album openers on here. No, no, there's seven because the getaway. Oh man, I am. Yeah, there's there's a ton of album openers. Yeah, so I, we... I'm gonna be honest. Two like like two or three. I don't know how many. I'm not actually counting. You a couple know of these. You them I I didn't realize we're album openers still right now okay. either. Yeah, okay. I didn't mean so, to make it this convoluted. We're gonna have to. Okay, I'm also thinking title tracks. Californication, title track. The Stranger, title track. Excitable Boy, title track. Odd Soul, title track. I might go with okay. Um, Odd Soul, Californication. No, Toxicity is also a title track. Yeah, damn it. I'm closers. No, there's only one album. There's only two album closers. Tox I think Toxicity is a closer. And uh, technically, she's my new song. It's not a closer. That that's like the weirdest one. Trez Mountains. We haven't really talked about them on the podcast. Um, so Pearl Jam side band with Jeff Ament, and I guess Mike McCready. He's like on most of the songs. But it's not the reprise because the prize I think is the one that actually closes the album. So unless you mess that up, but there's no other. I mean, that there would only be two album closers. So I think it's that. I do like that you included two songs that have "Getaway" in them. Um, you might notice I did something kind of similar to that. And and actually, the New York Times Connections does that a lot, where they'll put two things that like seem like they should go together, but then there's nothing else in the rest of the words that go together. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. this may actually have ended up being the trickier one now that now that i'm like putting myself yeah in your shoes here. i mean like okay soldier side i'm struggling now because soldier side actually that's not an opener is it? is that the closing song There's not two songs by them with that. Is it like the She's My New Song where there's like an intro one and then a closing one? Or am I thinking of a completely different song? I don't know if I'm allowed to answer that. I guess I, I, I can say that one for later. I mean, like, okay. What's not an opening? The Stranger. I feel like I'm going to have to. Okay. If you excitable. need a hint, I can I can give you a hint. I'll I'll think about how. Well, hold on. It. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to. Okay, the stranger, excitable boy, and the getaway and odd soul in Californication. I mean, I'm almost positive you're not gonna have both Red Hot Chili Pepper album um songs in the same category. I mean, you could, and I I guess there's nothing against that rule. Like, there's nothing that says you can't do that. But I just don't think you're gonna do that. So, um, I do think "Excitable Boy" the Stranger and "Not Soul" go together. I think I just have to like almost flip a coin in my head: is it gonna be the Getaway or is it gonna be Californication? Uh, I'm gonna go with. Californication, I'm going to guess. If it's wrong, it'll let me know in the bottom here. Let's see. One away. Okay. So, uh, uh okay. I'm going to, I'm going to lock, uh, Excitable Boy, The Stranger Out Soul, and now the getaway together. The wasn't even one away. Oh my God. So, wait, okay, does that mean that it's, hold on. I'm going to try the getaway complication acceptable boy, the stranger. No. Okay. I'm not even close. Okay. Give me the hint on the soldier side thing. Cause I, I'm just, my memory is, is not clear on that. So with, with soldier side there, it is a closer track, but there is a, a reprise of it at the beginning. Oh, and I know it now. The second you said that, okay, she's my new song has a reprise. Life Wasted has a reprise. Soldier Size has a reprise. And you got really tricky because I'm thinking Allentown is the other reprise song because the song technically is reprised during the closing track on Mountain Curtain with uh, Worst Orchestra. So I'm going to say these all have a reprise. No? That This may have been an oversight. That That is true. 
about, <laughs> about what's wait what's the other song that has a what is the other song that has a reprise am i having like a really dumb oh the stranger the stranger has a reprise yeah okay no I, oh, I was oh, say, I, oh no no! Uh, I okay. I clicked on Allentown. Yeah, 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 I messed that up. Okay, she's my new song. Life wasted. The stranger and soldier side have a reprise, which you. I mean, to, I yeah. Billy Joel has two songs where it has a reprise, and other songs where soldier side. She's my new song. And Life wasted have a separate song that has a reprise title. Technically, right? I would not have put Allentown. I forgot about the reprise on that okay, though. Okay. So my bad on that. But. Okay. Um, so I think, okay, Allentown is an opener. The getaway is an opener. Getaway is an opener. Odd soul. I don't think you're going to do two getaways. So I'm going to, I'm going to say the getaway. No, because I think that's going to be a title track. So I'm going to go Allentown, getaway, odd soul, and born and punchers album openers. No. Okay. Al Allentown, the getaway, odd soul, born and punches. Wow, you went you went hard. I already have seven incorrect. <laughs> wait, did I unless, put this in wrong? Unless you messed up. Wait, <laughs> wait. Um. So hold on. Californication is a title track. Odd Soul is a title track. The Getaway is a title track, and well, Toxic and Excitable Boy. I'm just gonna try Excitable Boy. Nope. Okay, then I'm gonna try Toxicity. No. Did you mess this? Did you mess these up? A few moments later. No, I did not actually mess this up. Okay, so I'm just being really dumb. I, I mean, am I getting one of the categories wrong? Because I feel like it's title tracks and opening songs. Is it opening songs that begin with the title track? No. Okay. okay so no, which can't ones be, be don't which ones don't start with the which title tracks don't open the album? Let's start there. Excitable boy. That um toxicity. Okay. Californication. Okay. And um and then shit, I gave you um okay. <laughs> okay. There's no uh, other ones. Okay, my bad. This is also another oversight. Two hours later. Uh, is, that, is that one of is that the category? I think or did you mess up? Did well, you those, think those are those are the categories? Those are the categories for sure. I'm just trying to remember which of these three options did I pick. But it doesn't make sense because Californication. Oh wait, 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 wait! Yeah, it, it can just it, this is teamwork at this point now. <laughs> oh my God. Wouldn't it just be Allentown because that also does not open the album? Yeah, but it's not a title track. But it doesn't have to be a title track. This is for. This is for songs that don't okay. Title the category is just songs that wait. don't open an album. <laughs> no, that wasn't it either. Oh wait, shit. Okay, okay. This, this is I think you messed all... up. I'm pretty sure you messed up. I, I goofed. I goofed. All right. Um one eternity later. So what do you think they are? Because <laughs> Okay, why why don't why don't you try Allentown, Born Under Punches? Getaway, and then, and then it's either the Getaway or Odd Soul. Then, okay. there we go. Because Getaway is not an album, so only one of those was actually a title track album opener, which is the and then, Getaway. And then these are just songs are... with t title tracks. Title tracks. Okay, so you didn't mess up. You just you just did it really hard. And then here's they do this on connections too, where they show you like your attempts, and because each each category is like color coded, and it took me ten. Well, I mean, it took me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. It took me fourteen attempts. I I did ten wrong guesses. Okay, I I will say this was I unintentionally made this a little harder than I meant to, but, uh, but you got well, through it. You pushed well, through. Some of it was like, I was not expecting you to find two songs that had the word getaway that are album openers. 
Right, right. So that threw me for a loop. The, the Allentown having the reprise also threw me for a loop, and that one you just didn't that was think a about. Complete blunder there. And then the fact that the fact that three of the well, no, that's not true. The, well, the fact that um one of the album openers is also a title track also threw me for a loop. Oh, right, and then right. and then one of the title tracks was also yeah. There's two yeah. So that was hard. There, there's so a lot of foolery. I, I do not feel bad now at all. If um, I do not, I will not feel bad at all now if you bomb mine. So okay, I'm gonna it, stop. It, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. You right. go ahead and share your screen. And um, let's see if um. Well, I I won't be able to redeem myself until it's my turn. But let's see how you do. All right. Do you like this page I pulled up? Tips for ugh, tips for solving connections. <laughs> All right. And I and I don't do them color coding, uh, coordinated like they do. Like the purple is usually the hardest one. Like I didn't do that here. Okay. So go ahead and and let everyone know what you have on your screen here. Right. So we have "Every Breath You Take" by The Police, "The Man Who Sold the World" um, by Bowie, or maybe Nirvana to you younger folk. Hallelujah. It by insert whoever you want. Without you, I'm noticing something already. Um, by Badfinger, I like the Nielsen version. You know, American like the Mariah Idiot version. It's a close second. American Idiot from Green Day. You give love a bad name. Bon Jovi. Don't fear the Reaper. Reaper. Uh, Blue Oyster Cult. Scar Tissue. The Chili Peppers. Bohemian Rhapsody. Queen. Love me two times, the doors, whole lot of love from Zeppelin, all along the watchtower by Dylan, also a Hendrix cover, smoke on the water, fire in the sky, uh, deep purple, in the end, Lincoln Park, interstate love song, STP, and yellow from Coldplay, who you just saw. Well, you didn't. Well, not quite. No, but. I did not see Coldplay, but I, <laughs> I saw a, a string quartet doing Coldplay songs. Yes, close enough. So, I, I'm noticing covers right off the bat. So, "Man Who Sold the World," "Without You," "All Along the Watchtower," and then I would say "Hallelujah." Um, am I missing anything obvious though? No, just go go balls to the wall. Songs that have been covered. Bam. So you were sort of right. Like, I mean, you're going to probably beat me uh, in this round. Right. because, But the category was songs made more popular by someone else. Because, you know, Jimi Hendrix doing uh, All Along the Watchtower. That's the more well-known version. Hallelujah. I think most people know it for the Jeff Buckley version. Um, Leonard Conan is the one who wrote it. And then there's a ton of other versions. Um, Katie Lang, uh, Gore Downey, did, he did a version. Um, Rufus Rainwhite, he did one for the Shrek soundtrack. Man Who Sold the World, more popular by Nirvana. with um, Was it MTV Unplugged? I believe so, yeah. And then Without You, really, it was made probably the most popular, maybe technically by Mariah Carey. But I think even Nielsen, Harry Nielsen's version is more popular than Bad Company's version. Well, it's okay. Bad details and fortune, though. Okay. See, I got, now, I got a little overzealous. You got here. a little lucky because when it did the randomize of the placement of the words, it put three of those in the, you know. in the, Right in a row. In a row, yeah. On the first row. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let me see what I've got here. I see some classic rock with Bohemian Rhapsody, Love Me Two Times. A lot, a lot of classic rock here, actually. Um, hmm. So I don't see any title tracks. You probably uh, that the yellow category you just got probably was the easiest one. I will say though. Okay, okay. But like, yellow's I'm... not in the yellow category. The hell. <laughs> um. So I'm trying to think. Try to think about the podcast here. I think the only song we've discussed in the podcast would be Interstate. I don't see any numbers. When did we discuss Interstate? No, I do see numbers. Well, I, I mean, like, STP. STP. Okay, okay. Sorry, should have specified. 
some some of the practice ones we've done have included numbers and colors, so I'm trying to be mm -hmm. mindful of that. So I see yellow. I see two. <laughs> That's about it. Okay, love. Love is a theme here. You give love a bad name. Love me two times. Whole lot of love. Interstate love song. I'm gonna I'm gonna lock that in, but yeah, I think it's just gonna be love in the title. I hope I don't you don't get me on another minor detail. Nope. Now that one also kind of grouped them together in a in a way. Now it, it grouped them that way this after you cleared the first row. So I mean that was unintentional, but like. You went easy on me. Well, I should I should have thought of one more song that had love to fit one of the other categories. Yeah, you're right. I I did do a little bit, but this is the first one. The first one is easier. This this first puzzle. All right. So let's see here. Um, there's only one song that needs more cowbell. <laughs> hmm. So, well, I I will say this: American Idiot in the end. Scar tissue in yellow are significantly more recent than the other tracks. So that makes me want to group them there, but I don't think that's enough basis to group them. Um, hmm. Trying to think of what these would have in common. Well, I was gonna say, Queen, The Police, and Coldplay—they're all—they're all English, right? But I don't think Lincoln Park's English. And I mean, I could just go for the guess, but I want to know what the category would be too. Is it the year it came out? Um, no, because isn't Californication from like '99? Is that grossly off? Um, Bohemian Rhapsody is a long song, but none of these other songs seem that long. Hmm. Let me know if you need a hint. I don't know. I think I might just go for the guess. Go for the guess first and just see how it is. I'm going to sacrifice the point, but also... I have not answered 14 times well, yet. So. Yeah, I mean, you're going to clear this round if if even if you get like five incorrect guesses. But I but I do want the the satisfaction of being able to say what it is. Yeah. But let's just let's just let's just see what happens when I click it. Let's see if it's even close. Um Oh, I already I already clicked for it. Okay. We'll go American Idiot, Scar Tissue, In the End, and Yellow. Nothing was right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I mean, two of them could have been in the same category, true, but true. it only will tell you if you're one away, not if you're like two away or, or three away. Right. Okay. You know what? Okay. I remember the other day we did a practice round and the song meaning, like the, the topic of the lyrics had to deal with it. So, Behemoth Rhapsody, the dude just kills a man. Don't Fear the Reaper, I mean, it's talking about death, right? Every breath you take, isn't that, like, about, like, a stalker? But that's not really the same thing. Unless the stalker's got a gun, but we don't know that in this story. Let's let's email Sting. Um, in the end, I... Don't think it has to do with that. This is tough. This is t is deep purple English. Is is that is that the missing link? Are they? <laughs> wait 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 a minute. Okay. We <laughs> go yellow smoke on the water. Every breath you take, Bohemian Rhapsody. Okay, one away, <laughs> one away. <laughs> Please do not tell me that Green Day <laughs> is English. Is that true? Um, I'm going to say they're probably not English because they have that song Boulevard of Broken Dreams. And isn't that about Hollywood Boulevard? Um, this is tough. This is tough. I don't want to just ask for a hint, but I really have no idea what the connection is. 
I guess I could just click on a different. I, I guess I could do a little guesswork here. Okay, smoke on the water. It says fire in the sky. So I don't. I don't. I, I really don't know where I'm going with that. Um, this is tough. This is tough. What? I, I will already say guess this. I already guessed this song. Together. I'll say it's tough because at least with yours, I had it. I when I had the last two categories, I had it honed in on what they were. Right. Right. Your first hint will be that you haven't even come close to the right, the, the right category. No. God damn it! I mean, I, I, okay. Your second hint will be this: that you are partially right in the sense that one of the categories does have to do more with the bands than the songs. Right. Okay. Well, there's only one trio, or no, two trios: Green Day and the Police. But yeah, that's not really helpful. Mm, Sting is the only bassist who sings. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Please let them cook. I, I'm just let gonna say the band names out loud. Let me let okay. me see if I hear any connections. Okay. okay, the police, Queen, Deep Purple, Green Day, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Blue Oyster Cult. No way. All right, we're gonna go. Don't fear the Reaper from Blue Oyster Cult. Scar tissue from the Chili Peppers. Smoke on the Water from Deep Purple, and Green Day's American Idiot. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. Thank you for the hint. This All last right. one is it's kind of hard, I will say. I, I Basically, I'm just telling you what this category is. Yeah. I mean, even if you don't, if we tell it of the points, it wouldn't even be close. You, 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 you know torched me on this one on this round is, is it the band's biggest song no I mean, but you're kind of in the ballpark that it has to do with the longevity and like legacy of the song but it's not really it's okay well you know what you're okay you're actually you is it what like the most covered songs songs song their songs no, like, but the most you're covered? getting a little closer it might be their biggest song if you base it on a metric that I did, it's more specific than that, but you, that's the like most streams. Num the uh, top of Spotify. Top of the five of Spotify. L l let's just go with that. Oh, okay. you get like a half point again. Cause you're I'll, like, I'll you're there. Point. Yeah. Your songs that had all those songs had over a billion streams on Spotify. Now Damn, I didn't realize in, in I mean it makes sense for in the end and yellow. But it, it's yeah. just kind of weird to think about a song like Every Breath You Take, which you hear like still hear everywhere today, even though I feel like I don't hear in the end anymore. Yeah. We no, that one was age. that one was hard because the category would have almost been easier or harder if I had like went with like the even like the higher songs on that list, like the weekend's blinding lights. Right. You know, um, I swore I originally had. I, I must have changed it because I originally had Mr. Brightside on there. Oh, OK. Yeah. But but I like where you went with like, is it in their top in the artist top five most stream songs on their page? Yeah, that would actually be a good imagined. one. That'd be a good one for a future episode. Um, future list. OK. Go ahead and um yeah, oh, so yeah. you beat me you beat me that round. So go ahead and yeah, I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna do your second. So and here's here's the thing. So for the first one, I thought all the categories were easy, the first one I mm -hmm. gave you, but I tried to be clever with the layering and by accident it got way too complex with the layering. Yeah. This one I didn't focus on the layerings as much. I focused more on a, a more difficult category to guess. Okay. Well, 
we have this. We have Am I the Only One by Rennick Ladies. We have one. I'm going to assume it's... And this one, I think I probably will need clarif clarification. I'm going to assume it's one by YouTube, but it could be Metallica. It could also be Harry Nielsen. It is YouTube. Okay. We have Let It Go. Is that the Frozen song? No, yes. Blocktober. The Frozen song. Okay, because there's a lot of song called Let It Go. Um, <laughs> Sun Ray by Mute Math. Um, Breakfast After 10. Block that one's by Blocktober for sure. The answer, which is also Blocktober. Streets of Philadelphia, Bruce. Um, Dance, Dance Song 97. Should I know that one or am I blanking? You should know that one. Dance Song 97. It is Sleater Kinney. Oh, not one that I've heard recently whatsoever. It's definitely on one of their albums that I've only heard once or twice in my life. Do you know which I, one it is? I don't even know what album it's from. Dig Me it's Out? It's from Dig Me Out. Okay. I, that's not one of the albums I own. Well, that's um, so that's going to hurt me in the long run. Love is Blindness, um, originally by you 2 Accidentally in Love, Counting Crows, Miss Misery, Elliot Smith, Luke in Pearl Jam, all or None, also Pearl Jam, Press Play, STP, a Great Provider. For some reason, <laughs> there's a comma. Please um, ignore that. That's also B and L, and the needle and damage done um, is uh, Neil Young. So, okay, I almost had a category because "Accidentally in Love" is on the Shrek soundtrack, and it's not on any other album. "Miss Misery," I think, is the same thing with Elliot Smith and Goodwill Hunting. "Let It Go," same thing. It's on the Frozen soundtrack, the Disney movie. And the Streets of Philadelphia is used in the movie Philadelphia. Now, Love is Blindness, if this is the Jack White cover, that was used, the, like, for a while, the only version, the only way you could listen to that song was on the Great Gatsby soundtrack, the uh, remake of the movie with um, Leo in 2000. I don't even know what year, but I don't know if you knew that. So I'm going to go on and on him and go... <laughs> Because I'm like, let it go. I don't know what else it would. I don't know what else you would pair that one with. Streets is kind of the same way. Um, Mr. Misery is kind of the same way. And accidentally love, like, I mean, accidentally love. I think is Streets of Philadelphia for sure have to be in that category. Miss Misery, I'm pretty sure. Let it go. I'm pretty sure. Love is blindness. And you even said you weren't worrying about the layering too much on this puzzle. So I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say you did not know that that also would fit this category. So I'm gonna lock these four songs in as. Songs on a movie soundtrack. Oh, so I get half a point because I actually didn't get the category correct. It's songs that won best original song. You know what? I think I knew that for all of them, but accidentally love. I actually don't think I knew I knew that it was nominated, but I don't I, think and I just I listened to a podcast with Adam Duritz the other day where he talked about writing the song for the oh. Shrek movie. And going to the Grammys, or not the Grammys, I guess it would have been the Oscars. But maybe I'm wrong then. Maybe I misread the Wikipedia. Maybe it said it was nominated, and I, I I just assumed it said it won. I'm going to look it up because I'm just I'm curious. Um not that I don't trust you. Uh if you're wrong, no, I, I, I feel I, like I probably I, I feel like I do deserve the two points. Um the two points. Oh, oh, oh be forgetting it and for yeah. I I may have lied to you. Yeah, I was oh, just nominated. nominated. Oops, oops. But you know what? I I mean, I you, you get the full. I point, think though. I was more on track than I was off track. Oh no, you you hundred percent get the point now. And you also definitely didn't know that Love Was Blindness, the Jack White cover, was used in a movie. <laughs> I did not know that. I also forgot has, Jack White did a version, but now that you mention it, I do remember that. As far as I know, all those songs too are like only on the soundtrack albums. Like they're not on other albums. Like Streets of Philadelphia is like on Bruce's greatest hits. Um, I didn't know that. But like Miss Misery isn't on an official album, right? Just the no. soundtrack. So that could have also have been the category too. Same with the Jack White cover, Love is Blindness. But okay, okay. So these other songs, these other songs. Lucan is a short song. 
Press play is a short song, but not as short. Sun Sunray and Press Play are both like instrumental. But none of the other songs are I don't know dance like I don't know dance song 97 enough. So that could be a, an instrumental, but none of the other ones are. So I there's not a fourth one. So I it's not that. Ray Provider is a closer. All or none is a closer. I think the answer without the S at the end, I think that is the one that closes Blocktober's second album. And it's like the slower version. Because I think the answers with an S is the title track from their first album, The Answers. Is there another closing song? Love is Blindness is closing. I Okay, so if I went all or none, the answer, Love is Blindness and great provider. See, dance great on provider, could be, comma, comma. Yeah, because you don't know how to type. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna lock that in because these other categories I'm definitely not as like. I'm not quite sure, so I'm gonna say these are album closers: Love Is Blindness, Great Provider, All or None, and The Answer. Okay, perfect. I was like hoping you were gonna go simple. All right. Hmm, these other ones are harder because Sunray and, and Press Play. And they're not quite interludes because Press Play is the opener. Sunray, I would I I, you, I mean it's a real full song, but it, it could be considered like I guess a like a interlude of some sorts. Now, I guess Breakfast After Ten and the answer, they those could have been in a category of songs that were reworked by the band and a later album. But obviously, that's not the category. Needle and the Damage Done. That one's interesting. Wait. Hmm. Wait a minute. The dance one's going to... Not knowing that Cedar Kenny song is going to kill me. Because Needle and the Damage Done is just Neil Young and acoustic guitar. Am I the only one? I mean, I think there's some other instruments, like maybe strings in the background and backing vocals. But I think of it as just like Ed... And his guitar. Breakers after ten. If you pick if if that is the version on their first album, the answers that one is kind of just no. That one has okay. I don't think I'm on the right track because I think that one has drums and stuff on it. What could Lucan be about? Wait, could they be based on real things that happened to them? My only one is about um, Ed Robinson's brother. Lucan is about Eddie Vedder being like stalked. Neil Damage Done is, I don't know if it's specifically about like Neil Young's drug, pro um, drug problems in the past or if it's, I, I think it's more about like people he knew. See, the dance song, that's going to kill me because that could be a song like based on some real thing. Um, I know. Oh, wait. Are you trying to be tricky? Am I the only one? One. One and am I the only one? Both have numbers in them technically. The number one. Breakfast After 10 has 10 in it and Dance on 97. Which would leave me with one Luke and Press Play and the Needle the Damage Done. Those ones I have no idea what how those ones would fit. So I haven't got any wrong yet. So I'm going to lock in Dance Song 97. Am I the only one? One. And Breakfast After 10 as the songs that have a number in their title. Okay. It was as simple as that. So for perfect score here, I mean, I technically already have these last four in a group just by process of elimination. Now, for a minute, I thought you were being really tricky. And this is one I might have to do in the future episode. Press play, Needle the Damage Done, I thought was going to be like, words in the titles that you can use when you're putting on a record. Like, oh, I like needle, that. Needle, press play, but that doesn't work with Lucan and Sunray. And you put drop it down from Brad on there. Yeah, yeah. see, that would be another one. Okay, I think, I think these are going to be songs under... I know Sunray is on the shorter side. Lucan's definitely on the shorter side. It's like barely a minute long. Press play, I think, is under... I'm going to say these are... But the only damage done. That's the only one where I'm like, 
because I don't think it has anything to do with the bands because I, I don't see Mute Math being connected to any of those bands. Um, The placement on the albums, you know, one's a, one's an opener and then the other three are just like randomly on albums. They're not singles. Only only two of them are instrumentals, but the other two are not. Um, the only damage done was recorded live for Harvest, but the other three weren't. They're not produced by the same people. The songs don't have, I mean, two of them are instrumental, so they don't really have like lyrics, so they can't be about, you know, similar things. I think it's going to be like, so I think Lucan's like a minute long, barely. And I know for sure Sun Rain press play are over a minute. So there's not, it's not going to be like songs under a minute, but I do think it's going to be songs under two minutes. That's going to be my guess. See, Neil the Damage Done is killing me because I'm like, I always thought of it as like at least a three minute song. Like a maybe barely three minutes, but I know press play, Lucan and Sunray are not three minute songs. So I'm gonna say my final guess for this last category, songs under uh two minutes. Okay, so I I don't think I got that one because the category was shortest song on the album, which that's a very hard one. Cause the only time I thought about the song on the album was when it when I came to like placement and not not at any point did i think it would be the shortest song on the albums but is yeah, da it's... daisy's not shorter than press play no it's not because i don't think press play is a minute i think it's like 40 something seconds oh maybe i'm thinking of like the extended one that's on spotify like you know the reissue oh, yeah you're probably thinking about that yeah, one. yeah damn it i don't i mean i don't think that that's not what tripped me up because I, at no point did I consider them the shortest. I mean, like, Harvest is hard because I feel like all the songs are, there's only, like, I feel like one or two songs that are, like, long on the album. The rest are kind of relatively the same. Um, You know, pull up uh, Spotify on, um, or pull up Harvest on Spotify because we can see the, the, the lanes. Because I was trying to pick one that, like, still was, like, clearly the shortest but was less obvious. Um... Oh, are you are you just sharing the you're just sharing the the? the oh, you desktop. can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, you're just sharing the tab. Oh, Oops. you want me to switch uh, it over or? Yeah, you you can just confirm for us. It's fine. You want me? What did you want me to confirm? How it, is Harvest the short? Uh, is how how? Yeah, how needle shorter? needle is the shortest. It's it's. I actually didn't really realize this. It is only two minutes long and two seconds. So okay. Now there's another. There's a um. There's a world is two fifty nine, but like if you round it up, it's like three minutes. So it's like a it's, solid minute. It's, yeah, it's still clearly the shortest song, um, unless you count the um, Harvest fiftieth anniversary edition of the album, where there is a um, twelve second intro to one of the songs. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Because in those early concerts, Neil Young talked a lot in between songs. Like the like yeah. Um, no, that was a. That definitely that was the hardest category for sure out of both both of your puzzles, yeah. Because the, your other puzzle, it just was hard because so many of the songs interlap with each other with the categories. But yeah, that that was a doozy. All right, well, did I get? I didn't get any wrong guess, so it wasn't a perfect game because I I think I got the the original song category mostly correct, especially because you you had a little oopsie. Yeah, so you get you nailed that one. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll say like I got you know nine out of ten points or have you know, and the fact that you were able to tell me that all except for that one was you yeah know, did win like yeah you're good yeah all right so I'm gonna stop sharing mine so oh real quick though one of the overlaps that I did put in was that dance song ninety seven is the second to last song on the album so I was curious if you're gonna like connect all or none with that as well. Like, or with all the, you know, the album closers, you know. Oh, uh, well, no, because I don't know that because album I, that well. <laughs> right, right. See, I always think Dance Song 97 is like, is that the closer or is there one after? So I didn't know if, but. I, well, so in that sense, I helped myself not knowing that song or album. Uh, I know, I, wa I wanted to tell you the whole time. You don't need to know how the yeah. song goes, but. <laughs> and that's on me. That's on me for not knowing. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing. You can go ahead and share. Yeah, that's my blind. I mean, I yeah, I don't really know Slater Kenny. Like the two albums I really know the best are The Woods and No City to, No Cities to Love. 
Um, I know some have dig me out and um, I really don't know their early stuff or their most recent stuff. I, I mean, I, I think the band sound has kind of fallen off after Janet left, if I'm being honest, but I have not even gone around to checking that stuff out really. Not, not because I'm like anti post Janet Sleater Kenny. I just, I'm I'll, not, I'll just, know. I'll hear one single that I kind of like, like their newest album. They had a, the, the lead single was called hell. And I actually kind of dug, dug that song. And then whatever the second single was, I listened to it and I just didn't love it. I didn't really like it. So fair. I should give the whole album a listen, but all right, let's see how you do with, with your second one. All right. So our contestants for today are you twos Sunday, bloody Sunday, Bled White um, from Elliot Smith, Days of the Week from STP, Adam Raised a Cane from The Boss, Candy's Room, also by The Boss, side by side on the album, Dre is a race car driver from Primus, James by Billy Joel. Oh, yeah. Um, I will confirm it is Billy Joel, yeah, because I forgot the Locked Over song is James, yeah. Billy Joel. Uncle Walter from Ben Folds 5. Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting by um by who? Was that a pun? <laughs> I, I, I'm hoping it's a pun. Well, technically it was written by Alan John. But the Who did it? The Who the Who does a cover, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I actually prefer the Who's cover, but Okay. It, it's my fault for not knowing. Ethiopia from the Chili Peppers. Friday I'm in Love by The Cure. I know the end. So this one you should know. So this is your little I I know the slap end. on the wrist. <laughs> by by who? It's the closing song off of Punisher by Phoebe Bridgers. Okay. Tuesday is gone. By who? You don't know Tuesday is gone? What Leonard the hell is Tuesday? Leonard Skinner? Yeah. All right. So there's a lot of blind spots right now for me. Wood from Alice in Chains, Jeremy from Pearl Jam, and Brendan's Death Song, which neighbors Ethiopia as well. Well, I mm. want to correct you just just so uh, Adam Razor Kane and Candace Room are not like side by side on the album. Are they they're not? On, oh, they're on no, the you're same right. side. But... You're right. No, uh, some, something, something in the night, right? Yeah, which by the way, Bruce Springsteen did his first show um, on this tour. Um, his first out of two shows in San Francisco last night. And he opened with something in the night. Oh, that's so sick. And then later on, he played um, racing in the streets too. Nice. Nice. And he did yeah, like, I'm... and he did like, of course, he always does like Badlands, And I think the promised land, but like, those were like two songs from darkness that he played that don't always get played. Dude, right on. Yeah, I don't know why I always forget that something in the night is the third song. Because I really do like that song. Um, so, okay, let, let me go ahead and start connecting some dots here. Two Bruce songs from the same album. Two Chili Pepper songs from the same album. Um, I see Wood and Jeremy, 90 songs. Jeremy and James are both names <laughs> spitting bars over here that start with the J but Adam Walter Jerry are also in here Brendan <laughs> <laughs> and Candy what we'll say is a name so I'm kind this of one's definitely right looking now. this this one is actually kind of closer to your your first puzzle you gave me I you know this is this is this is payback right now Okay, so, well, Days of the Week, I think, is your favorite from Shingri La Dada. It's either that or Song for Sleeping, but I think Days of the Week is still secured as your spot. Which, by the way, I don't know if you knew this in the his autobiography, um, his, uh, what is it called? Memoir? Memoir. What's the other word I'm looking for? Autobiography. Auto? Autobiography, yeah. The hell? Um, <laughs> I just because I kept wanting to say autobiographical, but it's autobiography oh. is the word I was looking for. Um, he said that a song for sleeping was written for his son. I didn't know that. Like no, when he was a baby. Yeah. 
You know he has a daughter though, and that daughter didn't get a song written. Very okay. well, okay. as far as we know, like he mentioned his daughter in in his book, but he didn't mention if he wrote a song for her. That that's fair. Um. Okay. So, um, Bled White. I feel like you really liked, but I could I cannot remember if you said what your favorite on EXO was. I know you liked Sweet Add and Nine too, but you know what? I think those are the only two songs from an album I have given you for album for album. Okay, let me look for some outliers here. So Saturday, okay, Saturday's nights, all right, for fighting. Tuesday is gone. Days of the week, Friday, I'm in love. These are obviously songs that have to do with days of the week. Um, yeah, I, so, oh, that was a close one. That was a close <laughs> one. <laughs> Sunday, buddy, Sunday. All right, so I'm going to take off days of the week. That is the category name right there. Um, okay, I feel pretty confident now at that. Nice. And you know what? This is I'm I was gonna make it even more harder, like confusing for you. Was I originally meant to when I looked up songs online like named after days of the week? Obviously, I knew I was gonna throw in the song days of the week that was gonna be in another category. Not even I wasn't expecting that to trip you up because it's days of the week in the title of the song does not contain a day of the week. But I meant instead of Tuesdays Gone, because I, I had a feeling you might not know that song. I meant to include church. What's that? What's the STP, STP song? Church, church on, on Tuesday. Yeah, that would have been good. And I meant to do that because then it, then it would have been, you know, it would have been the exact same thing with the Chili Peppers category and the Bruce one, like with the two songs, but it's not the same album. So it would have been slightly different, but right. But that would have been, I completely really forgot. Concerned. And I went with the song that you don't really know. So that was, but you bad. know what though? This was almost just, just as trippy. You know why? Why? Because in days of the week, he literally said says Monday's gone, Tuesday's fading. Oh, so at I first, I, I was like, "Oh, that. that's almost the lyric." Yeah, I didn't think of. And I'm, there's like other songs. Like I, I tried to go with songs that we like knew, or I try to go with like also like rock songs, like genres we listen to, as opposed to like finding a hip hop song or country song with a day in the week, you know, in the title. Right. Solid. Not that either of us really listen to too much Cure or Elton John, but or Linda Skinner. But, um. So here's what I'm observing. Wood is a closer. You told me I know the end is a closer. But none of these other songs close an album. So I'm gonna say that's that's just um, I mean, that, that that doesn't matter. Um, we'll come back to that. But I am interested with Adam Brendan. Walter, so, well, okay. So Jerry, James, and Jeremy all start with a J, and then Adam, Candy, Brendan. There's really no way I could just pick. Uh, there's no way I could take these what like s six names, and be able to just guess which ones would be right without just you know throwing darts at the wall. So let me look for something else here. Days of the Week's the second track on the album. So is Adam Raised a Cane. Um, but none of these other songs are second on the album. Uh, okay, okay. Hmm. You know, I started to think maybe it's just songs that we really liked from the podcast. But I think you said that you didn't do anything like that for the podcast. Or for this, you didn't pick any category that was like our favorites from the pod. Okay, okay, I'm I'm getting a little, I'm I'm kind of losing sight here. <laughs> hmm. So which ones, which ones don't have names in it? Let's start there. Ethiopia. Yeah, I, was, I was gonna suggest that myself. Actually, I was gonna say, go with some songs that you have not been able to put in a category yet. Okay, so there's five songs that cannot go into category as far as I know. And I'm not quite sure how to group these. Um, I guess we could... I feel like looking at it from a band's point of view isn't really that beneficial. Um, you... No, okay. 
Chili Peppers, Elliot, STP, Phoebe Bridgers. See, I, I don't like that. I don't like the Phoebe Bridgers being there. That, that's weirding me out right now. It's distracting me, but... Oh, God. Well, it's distracting you because you slept on that album. Okay, okay. I, it, that's one of those albums where I really do like moments from it, but I just have not like put on the whole thing front to back in a, in quite some time, unfortunately. Well, I can say the same for Tom Waits. I don't think you've even opened it up on Spotify once. <laughs> so you don't think I gave the album a listen ever? <laughs> yeah, yeah, not at all. You, you just use Spark Notes for uh, yeah, for the episode. So I am really freaking lost. So I guess I'm just gonna have to start guessing almost, but I don't want to just do that. I mean, do you want to? I mean, do you want to hint not necessarily about the categories, but about how you should go about this? Yeah, yeah, that would be beneficial. I think. I I think the key to open this up for you would be to figure out where the song would would fit in a category. What 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 are these <laughs> balloons? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> It's like the thumbs up when you do the thumbs up, it does the Wait, little. This this does that. Yeah, I, like... don't, I don't know how you conjured up balloons <laughs> on the screen. Yeah, for our audio listeners, Tony somehow unlocked the new um like <laughs> balloon animation on Zoom. So Wood, okay, Wood's got a question mark in it. That's that's the biggest distinguisher. It's the closer on the album. You said the Bridgers was the closer, but none of these other songs close the album, right? No, no. So, Wood has one word in it. So does James. So does Jeremy. So does Ethiopia. That'd be kind of messed up, though, for you to put two songs that are a single name that start with J. I bet you did do that, you jerk. No, one away, though. <laughs> one away. Okay, so, well, it can't be that then, because all the other ones have more than one word. So, what does Wood have in common with those other songs? There you go. That that should be actually what you should do is, okay. you know that those four songs, only three of them go together, but now try to figure out what three of them have in common that the fourth one does not. That would be actually be a great place for you to start. They have like nothing in common. <laughs> okay. Okay. Did you go? Okay. I'll give you one last hint. Okay. You were right in, in the sense that none of these categories have to do with the band. Okay. Thank you. That, that, that makes it a little easier. So, okay. So let's think about this. Wood is a song. What, what the hell is wood about? Is it about. I think it's. I feel like it's about. Is it about addiction? I don't know. Okay, that this is not. This is not helping. Um. Well, there's there's co vocals on it. He doesn't sing the verses primarily. That is Jerry, but all these other songs are just sung by one guy. It. it, it Okay, is this difficult or am, am I am I just being stupid? It's here? it's difficult. Yeah, these ones are yeah. well. One of the categories is actually two of the categories are not hard. The, this category that you're focusing on now is the hardest of the three, in my opinion. Now they're all hard because a lot of them overlap with things that you have pointed out. But the yeah, one of the categories is pretty hard. Right, and that's the one that you're focusing on now. You want more one more hint? You know what? You know what? I I don't know why, but I'm I'm feeling drawn to connect blood white with wood. And I, I have no basis for this at all. Like this is this is a pure pure intuition right here. I don't know. I feel I feel like blood white, Jeremy and Wood, these are from the nineties, but at the same time neither of these James or Ethiopia were so I, I guess I can't really I'm, I'm just gonna take a guess I'm gonna take a stab you guessed 14 times on the other one so I, I can take a few incorrect guesses that is true okay 
Okay, so okay, if if I'm doing this guessing game right, Ethiopia and Jeremy go along with wood. Why is that possible? Um Like literally what is the connection? Jeremy's about the tragic school thing or well, like the the kid and then Ethiopia it's a chili pepper song it has no meaning. <laughs> wood <laughs> In Ethiopia, they do some spelling, but I don't recall that in these other two songs. E I O, whatever the hell he says. So, what would Jeremy? You want your last hint? I think I may take it. Well, I mean, I could go a really simple hint, which is the fact that, yes, those are the three that are connected with one another, but that doesn't really help you. Get the hell my, out of here. My hint will be it has to do with the music itself. And just the music. Well, okay, so Wood is half step down, draft D. Ethiopia, I have a hard time imagining, is in anything but standard. Jeremy is... Also in standard, right? There's no X. Well, there is like the Jeff does play one of those like bases, like like eight string bases or something, twelve string, whatever the hell they do. I believe the music itself, though, um, they riff out. I'll say that much. Okay, um, I'll give you a slightly another hint. It has to do with composition. Composition. Well, wood does not start with bass. Wait, it does though, actually. Wait, I see the back. I see the back. I was making a joke, and it's true. I'll explain your joke to the people who might not oh. understand. Yeah, so the beginning I, of I Ethiopia, um, you hear rolling everyone, starts with bass. Okay, so bass intro. Why did this take so freaking long? <laughs> um, and Jerry was a great car driver, starts with bass. Fantastic. Um, to be fair, though, Jeremy also has harmonics and drums. No, just, I mean, like, some light percussion, but. I mean, I guess wood starts like that, too. Okay. okay yeah. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. And I, and technically, yeah, Ethiopia starts with talking, not bass, but. <laughs> so as a bass player, this it was really embarrassing, and I feel hurt <laughs> and a little bit betrayed. Um, so from here, let's move on. So I imagine Bled White and Days of the Week have to go together. And I know the end because it doesn't have a name in it. So I'm going to also, I don't know. I don't know. I will say one of the one of these categories is pretty vague. Definitely more vague than like pretty much any of my other categories. And you were kind of on the right track with well it is similar to one of your categories you did on one of your puzzles. But more vague than yours. Well, if it's going to be like songs from albums we've discussed, then it would be, yeah, Blood White, The Gates of the Week, I Know the End. And it would have to be one of these two. Um, so which one would it be? I'm going to say it's going to be Candy's Room because... Um, Candy is like less, like not, not no diss to anyone named Candy, but I feel like Candy is less of a typical name than Adam. Um, so I think the category though is going to be, yeah, just songs, just songs from album for album. I think, I think it's just going to be that. You said it's going to be less specific. Um, I mean, I really like Days of the Week and Blood White. And Candy's Room. But I think you also really like those ones. I know the end didn't stick out with me. Just based off this conversation we're having. But um, yeah. Songs from the podcast. 
Cool. Cool. Great. You just watched me overthink for a minute and a half straight. Yeah. Well, that um, one I was kind of a dick about it because, because, well, I mean, finish this off and I'll explain it. What What is this category? This one here is just songs with, with people's names in it. Adam raised yeah, a kid. Be, wait, name. be a tiny bit more specific. With male names. In right. Well, it, it, it yeah, okay, yeah, well, I, I know that. some of these. I guess. Well, actually, can I? Well, I was, I was gonna say Bruce does refer to Candy as she. Yeah, and that's not in this one. Well, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which is why it would that was kind of a dick move on my part because you could almost interswap, um, or you could exchange Adam Raisa Kane for Candy's room. Other than the fact that yeah, Candy in that song is used as like a female's name, yeah. But, but but then again, I did give you Allentown and The Stranger. It both have the yeah. reprise in the same exact way. So, all right. So hit submit and boy names in it. Boy. So, I, I actually still think you beat me overall. I mean, I gave you a lot of hints for this one. So, like, yeah, but I, I don't know. think it was as disastrous as... Now, I will say that very first game we played, you weren't even sure about... <laughs> what, what, what you song? made me question it. You made me question it. Um, but no, actually, yeah, I think I expected myself to do better than I did. You know, by the way, I will say, um, props on you for including, there's two boys names in Adam raised a cane. I just realized that. Yeah, technically. Yeah. I, I don't know why, but I, I, I know like, like Kane's a name, but like whenever I read the title, I don't even process the, like the words. I just think about how he sings it because it's so amazing. Yeah. Well, all right. I mean, I, I, yeah. I mean, I, I think you did a little better than me. Um, that made that first that first puzzle. Those two categories really tripped me up. The fact that there were so many songs that were like, it could go either way. But um, no, yeah, I was fun. Uh, I definitely think this will be a game we'll play in the future. I mean, connections will probably. I mean. I feel like we even missed its peak maybe like, you know, months and months ago. I think it kind of became more popular, like even more so last year. But, you know, we're a little slow to get on trends. Um, and, you know, we're, we'll probably we could do in the future. We could do custom wordle games where we have to give we make up a, a word, not make up a word, but we pick a word for each other. That's music related. Loodle. Wordle. You know, uh, what the, that, never mind. I'll tell you. Oh, uh, it was a joke. Okay. Yeah. I didn't get it. Um, and then, oh, was that a SpongeBob joke? It, it oh, definitely was not. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> um, and even I, once I show you the, the game strands, that's also something that we could do in the future because they have custom ones okay. you can do of that one as well. So, yeah, this um, was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm still new. Also, I mean, I know you've been playing Connections for a while, but this is still a new game for me. But, it's fun. It's challenging. It's um. It's really satisfying to get it right. It's downright humiliating to not get it to right. Get it at all. wrong, yeah. Um. So yeah. So let us know if you played along with us. Let us know how you did. If you you know did any better. Some of these categories are very specific to Tony and and myself. Like the album for album ones. Like those ones, I would not expect any other person but you to get. Unless, um, unless you have um the same taste as Rico. Wow. Well, and then, and some of these two like um, are deep cuts. Some of the, I mean, like Ethiopia is a Chili Peppers deep cut. You know, Blood White's a deep cut. So, but yeah, let us know. And then, um, you know, if you have your own custom music um, connections, send them our way, and maybe we'll even do it on on a future episode. But um, until then, uh, we'll, we'll be back next week for um, the first of this month's two album for album episodes actually we might as well go ahead and we'll announce what albums we gave each other i don't know which episode we're going to record first but i'll just say that um for this month i gave tony young the giants third studio album titled home of the strange and tony what did you give me rico i gave you panic at the disco's first album a fever you can't sweat out. Yeah, so we picked two albums from. I'm. Uh, I mean, the. I don't know actually what year the Young and the Giant one came out, but we definitely picked albums released 
2000s. Yeah, beyond the 2000s. Um, and, you know, both are kind of in, I would say, slightly different genres of music than we normally listen to. Um, at yeah. least there's elements in both albums that are different than we're used they to. They kind of neighbor genres we listen to. Yeah, which is kind of why when Tony gave me that album, I tried to give him one that I felt like was a little bit more up its alley than if I gave him, you know, an album from the 70s or whatever. So, yeah, um, those will be some two interesting episodes that will come um, in the next two weeks. So uh, stay tuned for those episodes. And until then, we hope you take care and you'll be seeing and hearing from us soon. Bye-bye.